Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, well, we've got what can only be described as a mirror image matchup, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins and themselves. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Two and a throw right away. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Going for the deep ball. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll run. Here's Devon Achim. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They'll go. Achim. touch him down but not before he gets the first they only needed a few inches but still some anxious moments there but they do convert on fourth the fourth down run successful now they look to pay it off on first down hey chan here they stay on the ground just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that point from the get-go. Then everyone crashing the ball here before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. They set up the screen, A-Chan has it. Touchdown! Devon A-Chan, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Chris take it in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20.
Tug of Iloa, and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time, either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and ten. the ground this is Devon HN and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34 a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game in search of four yards here to pick up the first down Third down, HM. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. On side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like I'm, it. I'm feeling it. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. six points that certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football but who cares look at the result big touchdown they went for it on their own side of the 50 so there's conservative there's aggressive and there's really aggressive which is what we just saw there tip of the cap to them Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Jason Sanders is the kick off for Miami.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. So now first and ten as they crossed into Miami territory at the 43. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action, now it's Tua. Out right, caught by Chosen. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here is third down and four. Once again, it's Mostert. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Mike McDaniel dialing up the risk here a little bit on 4-10. They're going to go for it. Now Tua. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That good for 19 on the first down. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. 
Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Throwing now is Tugamailoa. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. throw eluding the pressure right and he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line and that's good for a gain of six and it's second down again they will throw it with Tonga Mailoa Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity, but didn't get it. Because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. And that allows the defense to tighten up their cover. There he goes on the side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And that one results in 35 yards. That's how you run the screen right there. The defenders get out of place, and then there's a lot of room to maneuver for your running back. That's because all the defenders, or I should say the bulk of the defenders, we're chasing the quarterback. Great disguise, great fake. Got the screen out there, turned into a large game. On play action, here's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Tua, a final shot before half. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. Braxton Berrio selected to bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now he's free to midfield. How about this? He's to the 10. The Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 14 to 7. G. 
Jason Sanders is the kickoff woman. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. On second down, Mostert. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. It's a big play there for Miami. 47 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Looking to pass to him. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Here's third and six. Waddle, the motion man right. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Good work on the scamper by Tug of Iloa. It's a first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and three from the nine. Here's Tua. That is incomplete. When a linebacker diagnoses a screen, who wins? The quarterback getting a throw over to the back in time or the linebacker running in to knock it away? With the athleticism of modern linebackers, they win the race more often than not. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Tua sets up to pass it. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Buried behind the line by 
Christian Wilkins. And I guess, partner, you call that a coverage sack. Oh, without a doubt, because where did he have to go with the football? I know everybody wants to get on him about, hey, get rid of the football. You had too much time in the pocket. But he's scanning the field, nowhere to go, and that allowed the pressure to ultimately get to him. The kick by Sanders is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On third down, here comes Mostert. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Miami, as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Here's Tonga by Loa on first and ten. That's into the hands of Chosen. That one good for 13 and a goal for first down. Here's Tonga by Loa to throw. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16 yard line. Christian Wilkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga by Lowell. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Two of 
Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. 126 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. On second down, a run by a -Chan. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. Here's second and a yard. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Tua. Now HN on first and ten. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Not a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Throwing Tua. Right back to HN on second down. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Short game, short game, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense are saying go right ahead with those. Tua. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Here's Tua. Sanders, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here's first and ten. Tongue of Iloa. Now they go screen. It's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop them with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's second down. Here's Tua. He's got to complete to Waddle. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Tua to throw. He's going to let it fly. 
And this is incomplete. 